Hey guys, this week in the rundown, we're talking about new career options for surface warfare officers, CNO's new navigation plan, and the annual Feds Feed Family food campaign. This week, five new career tracks have been created for surface warfare officers. The changes were made to allow more career flexibility and retain the Navy's high quality officers. The surface warfare community push highlights something that will benefit the entire fleet and is keeping with the Navy's leadership vision for more flexible career options. The new plan allows for greater graduate education opportunities with options for grad education at both the division officer and department head levels. For those SWOs unsure about the change, don't worry, the traditional career path is still an option. For more info, check out the recent edition of the CMP's Weekly Wire or visit idriveworships.wordpress.com. Next, the CNO expects 10 new Arleigh Brook destroyers and 10 new fast attack submarines by 2020. This is part of CNO's new navigation plan that highlights the Navy's key investments for the next five years. Part of CNO's plan emphasizes and rewards sea duty by continuing increased sea pay and sea pay premiums. That means more money for you. The plan will also leverage smart technology devices and applications through the eSailor initiative, which enhances training, communication, and career management for sailors at sea and ashore. Finally, last year, sailors and marines teamed up and donated 1.5 million pounds of food to the annual Feds Feed Family Food Campaign, or Triple F. This year, the Triple F wants to exceed last year's numbers. They're asking you to donate non-perishable food items for those in need. Check out the all nav on npc.navy.mil for more information on how to donate. Before we wrap up, a quick preview of what stories are following for the next coming weeks. Expect SecNav and CMP to roll out the Navy's new PFA policy in early August. The policy will include greater emphasis on health and fitness, including changes to several BCA and PRT policies. And good news for those waiting on this year's active duty Chief Board results. We are expecting word to come out to command triads in early August, so good luck. That's all this week. If you have any questions, tweet us at USN People or send us a message at usnpeople at gmail.com. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Thanks for watching.